Hey guys, this is the third video on the channel Optometry for You. In this video, we will be discussing how the prismatic effect is created on the decentration of the lens. This presentation is for the education purpose only. All copyrights and trademarks of image belong to the respective IP owners and are used under fair use for educational purpose. Prismatic effect on the lens surface can be resolved in two different ways. One is graphical method and another one is a formula based solution. In this video, we will be discussing about the formula based method for solving the problems. In order to find the prismatic effect on the surface of the lens, it is necessary to calculate the vertical and the horizontal prismatic effect. In case of a vertical deviation, it is calculated by the sum of a spherical and cylindrical component. The spherical power of the lens is multiplied with the vertical distance from the optical center and the cylindrical power is multiplied with y cos square theta plus x sin theta cos theta, where theta is the axis of the cylinder and x is the distance from the optical center and it is the horizontal distance that is used. In case of the horizontal deviation, it is calculated by the sum of a spherical and cylindrical component. This spherical component of the lens is multiplied with the horizontal distance from the optical center and the cylindrical power is multiplied with y sin theta cos theta plus x sin square theta, where theta is the axis angle of the cylinder and y is the vertical distance from the optical center. So now let's understand about the sign convention in the prismatic lenses. All measurements are done from the optical center to the marked point. Axis direction is usually mentioned in binism form. In case of the left eye, when the angle is more than 90 degrees, that is 130 degrees, 140 degrees, then it needs to be subtracted from 180 degrees and then it needs to be noted. So in order to understand how to calculate the prismatic effect, I have used four examples in this video to explain you how to find the vertical and horizontal prismatic effect. In case of the example 1, find the vertical and horizontal prismatic effect at a point 10 mm below and 4 mm invert from the optical center where the power of the lens is plus 5 with plus 3 cross 30 in front of the right eye. The spherical power of the lens is plus 5 diopters. The cylindrical power of the lens is plus 3 diopters. The angle of separation is 30 degree and the horizontal distance is 0.4 cm and the vertical distance is 1 cm. Both the components of the direction that is the x and the y component are taken to be positive. So for finding the vertical prismatic effect, find the spherical and cylindrical component by substituting all the components. So the final result that is achieved in the vertical deviation is 7.769 diopters, which indicates that it is 7.7696 prisms which is present in a base up direction. For finding the horizontal prismatic effect, substitute the components and the final result will be plus 3.59 diopters and the prism direction will be in base out direction. So now in this example where the spherical and the cylindrical power are negative and the angle is 135 degrees in front of the left eye. Then the spherical power of the lens is minus 4 diopters, the cylindrical power of the lens is minus 3 diopters and theta is the angle of the deviation where it will be 45 degrees in this case due to the binisal form. So we will have to subtract 135 degrees from 180 degrees resulting in 45 degrees. The horizontal deviation is 0.4 cm and the vertical deviation is 0.8 cm. So for the left eye, the vertical deviation is calculated by substituting the values as given. 
and it will result in minus 4.80 that means it will be a vertical deviation of 4.80 prisms in base down direction the horizontal deviation is calculated by substituting the value as given and it will result in minus 3.40 that means it will be 3.40 prisms in the base in direction in this example only the cylindrical power is mentioned and the vertical deviation that is the y component of it is not mentioned the cylindrical power of the lens is minus 4 diopters and the angle of deviation is 60 degree where the horizontal deviation that is the x component of it is plus 0 0.08 centimeter by substituting the values for the vertical prismatic effect the spherical power of it is zero the component will be absolutely zero the cylindrical power being minus four and calculating the other component of it will result in 1.384 prisms in a base down direction for the horizontal prismatic effect the spherical component of it is zero and calculating the cylindrical component results in minus 2.4 prisms that means it will be 2.4 in a base in direction in this example it is a spherocylindrical lens decentered by 12 mm upwards where the spherical power is minus 2 diopters cylindrical power is plus 5 diopters and the angle is 135 degrees where the vertical deviation is 1.2 centimeters and it is in front of the right eye. So by substituting this value, the vertical deviation will result in minus 2.40 diopters plus 3 diopters that will be 0.6 diopters deviated in base of direction. In case of horizontal deviation, it will result in a cylindrical component resulting in plus 5 cross minus 0.6 resulting in three prisms in base in direction thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions please mail me on my email id if you like the video please like it share it with your friends and subscribe to optometry for you thanks for watching the video